Hello everyone, my name is Moran. I'm going to be your host at Tutorials Hub for you today. And we're going to discuss how you can build up your affiliate network on Shopify platform. Before we get started, I would like you to know that you have an affiliate link down below that you can get your Shopify store for one month for only $1. So if you're interested to start your Shopify store, just click the link down below and you will get it for one month for only $1. So let's get started. I'm going to launch Shopify now. I'm going to use Shopify.com. I'm going to use pre-built site that I was working on before. So we just don't come up something with something from scratch. So I just going to enter my Shopify store from here and we're going to start working on our affiliate network. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to show you how does this actually look like in real life situation. We're going to go here, we'll visit an online store. So this is my store, which is currently not active. This is just for showcase purposes. So we're going to press a become affiliate. And that's basically it. This is how affiliate landing page going to look like. Here you will be able to see that we have a 60 day cookie policy. Uh, let me just explain this real quickly. 60 day cookie policy means that if somebody came to your store by using affiliate link within the 16 days that purchase gonna be recorded for the affiliate that uh, brought you the customer to you so it means that if somebody clicked on your store uh, using affiliate link from some of your affiliates that have been promoting your store after like 10 days and came back again after 20 days it means that they will still get the commission because it happened within the 16 days. Usually, uh, you can usually uh, brands use here like 30 days policy. I here put 60 days policy because I think it's fair and I want uh, to motivate my affiliates and uh, give them higher commissions in order for them to promote our store more. So I will show you everything. Uh, so the commission type is uh, they get percentage of sale. So here you can have different variation where they get fixed payment for every sale they make. We have a commission structure for 15%, which means that they get 15% out of every sale they make. And if somebody wants to become our affiliate, they just enter basic simple information within here. So they put their first name, last mail, uh, last name, email, password, blah, blah, blah. They generate it. And I let them leave uh, their Instagram account so I can check who they are, what they have been doing so far, and whether they are a good fit for my brand. So this is how it is going to look like once we wrap it up. So let's get started. Uh, you're going to go here to search and you're going to type in up promote. This is a simple uh, affiliate platform that I love to use and personally is my favorite when it comes to Shopify. So you're going to come here and then you're going to install it. So once that's been installed, this is how it's going to look like. And you're going to get this affiliate link. So this affiliate link is pretty much the same location. So it is going to take you here. What I did here uh, in my online store, I just created another page basically in the menu and I linked it with this link that you can find right here. So let's get back to Shopify. Uh, that's a registration form a link and get uh, you have like login link. So login link is where your affiliates uh, get to log in. Whether they don't have an account, they can just click here and have the account. So I'm gonna just use this one for these purposes just to show you guys uh, these are buses 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 okay i think i got everything okay uh, let's go okay we've we've logged in this is how it's gonna look the dashboard uh, for our affiliates so everybody that becomes our affiliate they will have this type of dashboard and they will be able to track everything that they have been doing for the brand because we, you as a brand need to be 100% transparent with your affiliates. They need to so, see what they have been doing, what type of results they've been doing, so they can optimize their work and they can get fairly compensated for the results that they provide to your brand. So this is how it looks like. 
program details can be found within here. So these are all pretty much the same uh, program details as we have them here. So they just get it once again, just for you to see. Now we're going to come back and we're going to start building our affiliate network. So customize the registration form. So we're going to click here, customize form. And we will be able to edit our live form. Uh, as we have already pre-built it, I'm just going to go quickly through everything. Uh, so you can see how you can manage it and how you can change uh, the stuff within here. Uh, you can select any type of fonts you want. So you see. Uh, I always try to keep it professional. So I use fonts like pop-ins because they're easy to read and they... They provide trust for the for the reader and that's why I use font pop-ins. Uh, background, I usually use white background. You can guys use any type of background you want. For me, the white is the perfect match in this case because our brand is pretty much black. So that's why we use uh, the, the white background. Uh, sidebar is this bar over here. You can use as well, change the colors of the sidebar. Here you can see that you can change the text. So I can just put here ballers instead. Uh, you can choose the, the color of the heading. I'm gonna keep it white and clean. And let's go further on. Logo and title. So show logo. Logo is related to this one. If I close this, this one, then you will not be able to see the logo. I want to have logo included. That's why I have the logo here. Uh, this is the text related to this one. Instead of drawing our affiliate program, we can type in become our top affiliate. And the site color, we can leave it as it is. We're going to leave it black as it is. Benefits text. So you see, here we able to write cookie days policy commission type uh, commission amount so this is how i have it structured you can guys have uh, different benefits for your affiliates so you can type in 30 days within here but then have in mind that you would have to change your settings to 30 days that we're going to cover up later on so if you want to have policy within 16, 60 days, then you just type in 60 and then change it later on in your settings, which I'm going to show you how to do it further on. Uh, form fields. This is uh, what type of information you guys want to get from your affiliates within the admin panel of your app promote. Uh, I want to have my uh, first name of affiliate, last name of affiliate. I want to have an email. And that's something necessary. You see, guys, this uh, this one shows that it's necessary. They need to have a password. Uh, company, I don't usually use. A VAT number is necessary. And you can use uh, their addresses in case you want to, to send them products so they can promote it uh, physically. In case that's not something that you want, you can just exclude that option. You also say, can uh, use... TikTok, so they, you can check their TikTok, you can check their Facebook as well. Everything that you actually want to include, you can just click a simple button here and it will be included and you will be able to check uh, their work from their social medias. At the moment, I'm just going to leave as it is with Instagram because this is the main channel that I communicate with our affiliates. So I'm go just going to keep it like that. Payment methods. Payment methods are the way affiliates want to get compensated. Some of them want to get compensated using PayPal. Some of them want to get a wire transfer. Some of them want to use another payment option. So it really depends what type of payments you want to send out to your affiliates. Uh, at the moment, I'm going to leave this one blank. You can always adjust it, add it as I don't need it at the moment because we communicate with our affiliates daily. So each affiliate has a different way that they want to receive their payments. I'm going to save this one for now. Uh, I'm going to save this one for now. You click the save button when he here and we are ready to work on our settings. So 
Uh, you see that the sub menu came up and we're gonna start from very beginning. Programs. Here you manage and edit your affiliate programs. In case you want to have multiple programs, then you'll have to subscribe for a higher uh, up promote level. Uh, at the moment, I only use free level, so that's something I need. And we're gonna start editing it so you can see exactly how we manage and uh, get standardized our affiliate commission and how we actually want the program to look like. So when I come back here, I can actually start working on specific specific things. Uh, this uh, I forgot to, to show you. Thank you page is uh, once somebody registered as a, your affiliate, they will be sent to your thank you page and they will get an automatic email that they have become your affiliate. So that's amazing. So they have a confirmation and they will get login details to their uh, affiliate panel where they can check everything and how they have been performing so far. In order to manage your affiliate uh, commissions and uh, how you want the program to look like, you just have to click on the name over here. So name the program. I'm going to name it Ballers Affiliate. So this is going to be the name of it. The status, I'm going to leave it as active because it is active. Here you see you can change the description and what type of commission you want to get. So for us, we're going to give 15% commission and you change the amount within here. So you see that the amount is equal to 15% and the type is set 2% of sale. If you want to have like fixed payment for every uh, sale they make, you can put in here. So let's say that you have a product worth $100 and you're uh, willing to pay your affiliate 15 euros in that case or dollars. You just put a flat rate per item and they will get uh, 15 uh, dollars in, in this case euros per every item sold. Or you can do it per order. I usually recommend uh, doing per sale because it will be much easier for you to manage and to stay profitable working with your influencers. Every uh, business has a different case scenario, so it really uh, is up to you and how your business is structured and how your pricing is structured when it comes to product pricing. Uh, exclude shipping from commission. You want to keep that one on because you don't want to pay your affiliates uh, for the shipping that you charge. So I usually put this one as on because uh, I don't pay affiliates for the uh, shipping that we charge additionally in case the the customer has been charged with shipping. Uh, that's about that. When it comes to uh, payment methods, I use these three, PayPal, bank transfer, and debit card payments. Uh, default payment method, I usually prefer it to be as a bank transfer. So you can, you can use any other you want, but you can keep it as none and you can discuss internally with every of your affiliates how they want to be compensated for the work they did. I'm going to press on save and we've come to our affiliates. Here you can see all of the affiliates that have signed up. At the moment we have 37 affiliates that have been in our network. Some of them are active, some of them are not. In case they are not active, you can just delete them from here. Or in case you don't want to delete them, and you want to reactivate them because they haven't been uh, lately pretty much, they haven't been active lately pretty much, you can just use their email, email them to see what's their status, how they, they have been doing, just like a quick follow-up to see how they have been performing and whether they need some support from your brand in order to get and provide better results for themselves and for you as well. Uh, you can also see you have a filters here that you can see uh, and uh, separate them and structure them however you want. So in case you want to see what type of affiliates and who have signed in the last 90 days, you just press on here and you will just be listed with uh, affiliates that have been signed in the last 90 days. So uh, feel free to use these filters in order to help you and organize your stuff better. Referrals. Okay, we've come to referrals. You see, in this case, we have two referrals. One sale was 50 euros and we paid out the commission of 10 
uh, euros and we have one sale of 21.85 and the commission was 4 euros and 37 cents this one hasn't been paid yet uh, so we would have to uh, pay it out and it says a pending status over here once the once you pay out the affiliate it's gonna get approved so in case you have paid it out you just click on approve and the status will be changed to approve so it's really easy to manage everything in one place uh, and everything is pretty much easy to track payouts here you'll be able to see what type of payouts and payment methods they want to use so as as you previously saw that there was a way to add i'm gonna get back there so you see what i'm talking about i'm gonna get back to programs borders affiliate if you remember you have like payment options here default payment we're gonna put as debit card for now so they will be able to choose what type of payment method they prefer in order to to get paid out uh regarding that you can give them a way to motivate them and you can help them out and give them certain incentives for them to be able to promote better and to be able to promote more uh, when it comes to affiliate networks uh, people usually need certain support in the beginnings because they don't know much about your brand. They need certain help. They need to understand how you operate and what type of help they, they can get from you. You want to be a team leader when it comes to building affiliate networks. And you need to be like extremely supportive to make it uh, big, to, to scale it up. Because people need support from you. That's something probably new, especially working with your brand. So try to be as supportive as possible and try to give them as many material as possible in order uh, for them to promote the easiest way possible. Give them information, be supportive and build community around it. And I'm sure that you guys will have success. We've come to the end of this video. Last thing to say, Check our link down below when it comes to Shopify affiliate that we use. So if you want to get one month for only $1, click the link down below, check it out, and I'm sure you're going to love it. So don't hesitate to text us. Don't hesitate to leave us a comment in case you get stuck. We will be able to help you out. And guys, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.